Our next guest, home renovations are a family business. Deep in the woods of Maine, they transform rundown and outdated vacation cabins into modern and chic retreats. Please welcome from DIY Networks, Maine Cabin Masters, Chase Morrill and Ashley Morrill Eldred. Thank you for having us. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, thank you. It's such a unique gig because you think like cabins, like people still live in cabins, but you guys make them like really cool looking. We try to, absolutely. And it's always been, you know, something that our family's always done. Uh huh. Um, I was in business. I had an antique shop before with my sister-in-law. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So we've always kind of been in the kind of remodeling sort right. of home decorating business. Um, and then this opportunity came about, and it's like, here we are. Absolutely, absolutely. I love cabins. Yeah. I think they're so cozy, <laughs> and right. I feel like they have a story to tell, right? Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, I love cabins if they weren't surrounded by woods. <laughs> You don't like woods? <laughs> That's why the I'm going to cabins. The insides are great. I know. The cabin's great. It's up when you open the door and you're like, oh, okay, I'm in the woods right now. Let's take a look at main cabin masters. Chase and I had a fun time. We went and made these lobster mat rugs. I love it's that it. That old lobster rope. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. Here, go on in. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my the inside of the house is just More so impressive. opened up. We yeah. all fit. We have a place to sit and eat. The kitchen is beyond Gorgeous. beautiful. Yeah, right. Gorgeous. It was better than the outside. <laughs> the floor. Oh. 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 <laughs> Does it look a little different? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> just great. Oh. Does it look oh. different? I'm going to cry. <laughs> Love it. That was a really fun one. What is it like when you get that type of reaction? Amazing. It's a the huge relief. Best feeling. Yeah? I cry almost all the time. Yeah. yeah. And we're always nervous before we uh, hand the camps back over mm -hmm. because camps are so precious. And they hand us the keys, you know, kind of go over what they're looking for and walk away. And we have to take and transform these camps, but preserve what's important to them, right. make them more functional. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's stressful. Have you yeah. guys ever renovated a yurt? <laughs> We Why have. You ask? Did, really? we have. <laughs> in this upcoming season, um, really? yeah, awesome. we actually yeah. did a year. Um, we moved it from up on this hill um, over to this island. It was super, oh, super really? cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's really, a lot of really work. A lot of what fun. a challenge, though, because you're so limited with space that you have to be creative in such a time. I mean, the cabins are not large. They're like, you know, a couple no. hundred square feet. And that's right? where Ashley's design really comes into play. Because most of these camps are, you know, they're small. We're working on really tight budgets, but we're in beautiful spots. Uh -huh. And Ashley, you know, comes in. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can come in um, and I take, you know, I like to find a piece um, that they have that I yeah. can upcycle. Personalize yeah. it right. for them. Uh -huh. I mean, why throw something away that you could turn into something great? Right. Definitely, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. We did one camp down in, it's called Bunganut Creek. Uh -huh. and it was an old clam shack. And they used to process clams. The boat would come in at high tide and it sat vacant for over 30 years. Wow. Is this it here? This is it, yep. Oh, that's awesome. And if wow. this had smell-o-vision, the smell <laughs> was so bad. It had two inches of concrete, two inches of cork. Yeah, you can see the concrete. And right just, there. we took out 11 tons wow. of concrete oh and goodness. just rubble, and it smelled so bad. And you know, in this camp, um, just a fresh coat of paint can make such a huge difference oh, in, yeah. in so many spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see, we just lightened up um, this. Which makes Same. the room look larger uh -huh. right. and lighter, lighter and more are. welcoming. Yeah. And seals um. out a lot of those smells. <laughs> <laughs> do people have requests that you can't fulfill? Do, you, do they go through things like, like must-have items with you? It's more of what they want to preserve. You know, they'll say, OK, we'll, you know, we'll meet with them, talk what they want, get an idea of what's going to work for them. And we'll say, is there anything that's sacred? And it may be a board that's got all the kids' heights for you know, right. generation after generation. They're like, don't touch that mm -hmm. or certain stuff like that, we, that we try our best yeah. to. Honor. Preserve and mm -hmm. be yeah. respectful. Yeah. Too, absolutely. And y'all made a table, correct, for a woman. Yeah, we, we um, well, we're walking down the driveway at one of these camps, and all of a sudden we saw this big, huge, large burl. And a burl is pretty much a growth on a tree. Uh -huh. Right. Um, oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's beautiful. Yeah. So we took it in, sanded it down. Was yeah. In the dirt, we brought it to my workshop. Cleaned it up and we're able to, you know, slice it off and turn it. Do you have to treat the wood? Yeah, we just oiled it, oiled it um, and then sealed it. A lot of sanding. It. Was it 4,000 pounds? How heavy was that? It was heavy. The two of us could lift it. Yeah. Oh. You know, For mostly. <laughs> the two of us could not lift it. Now, talk us through this next cabin makeover. So this is one from the burl on the outside. You know, I mean, it was pretty bad shape. A new deck, new siding, oh, new, wow. new landscaping. 
and we just come in and try and make it as usable as possible. And um, the, so these cool. people really loved loved animals, so we put down. This is Chase's idea to put down animal paw prints, uh -huh. nice. um, leading all through the cabin. I love that. I didn't love it at first, but it came out. I great. love it. You know, it's a great idea. Great. You could scare your guests and be like, "Oh, a bear walked in." Yeah. <laughs> the bear paw actually and landed on the refrigerator. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, he was hungry. Very hungry. Now, where does your inspiration come from? I know you like to personalize for your clients. Yeah, I pretty much just go in and see what they have and what I have to work with, mm -hmm. um, and then just try to incorporate um, their style, add a nice, uh, some, you know, some new touches. Uh huh. Um, you know, we get a lot of our inspiration from out the outside, from Maine, from nature. Yeah. 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 yeah, Maine's such a beautiful state. We all grew up beautiful. there. Beautiful. Yeah. So you know, we, it's really personal to us. So we just try and. You'll pass that Honor on to that. the camp owners. Yeah, absolutely. You guys do a great Beautiful. job. Thank you guys for Thank coming. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you.